All right, joining me now in the studio to talk more about Parkinson's research is Dr. Andrea Kuhn. She is from the Charité Hospital here in Berlin, and Dr. Kuhn is also a specialist in movement. We thank you very much for joining us today here on Tomorrow Today. Dr. Kuhn, how important is early diagnosis? After all, this is a degenerative disease, and there's really no cure for it. Well, that's the problem that um, we have no cure for Parkinson's disease. So it is good to have an early diagnosis, which usually helps the people also then to have supportive therapies and early medical therapy. But we don't have any pills yet that would stop the disease progressing. Right now, I've read a lot about Parkinson's and I actually know people who have had it. And it's hard to figure out where it comes from. Would you say, is it hereditary or is it acquired? Well, in most of the cases, it's acquired, and it's only 5 to 10 percent hereditary cases of Parkinson's disease. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let's talk a little bit about the method that we saw in the report, the ultrasound method. Um, how effective, in your opinion, is this method? It's a very good method to support our clinical diagnosis, but Parkinson's, first of all, is a clinical diagnosis. All right, I'd like to talk about cycle therapy. Why do the symptoms of Parkinson's disease seem to disappear when these people all of a sudden hop on a bicycle? Well, I think it's a supportive therapy and uh, dopamine is released during physical exercise and that can help at these moments that the patients can move better. And it's also helpful for other comorbidities of Parkinson's disease when they are depressed, uh, that usually gets a bit better as well. Mm -hmm. But it's not that you can either heal or can really um, help people just by cycling. All right, well, sports is good for everything. But, uh, <laughs> why cycling in particular? Are there other forms of exercise that would help, like swimming, for example? Yes, uh, indeed. And there has been a study conducted here in Berlin and Bielitz, um, and it's called BIG therapy. So it's a physiotherapy where Parkinson's patients have uh, performed large movements and they were trained to perform really large movements and that helped as well. Okay. So it's a general exercise that helps. in. Okay. Um, as I said before, you're a specialist in uh, movement. Um, I'd like to hear a little bit about your own work. Tell us some, something about that. Yeah, we are uh, very much interested in another uh, therapy in Parkinson's disease, which is deep brain stimulation here. Uh, that's a new surgical operation where electrodes are implanted deep in the brain in the so-called basal ganglia. And that helps to restore normal rhythms in the brain. We think it's a network disease and that uh, the motor deficits can be helped very well in patients, in Parkinson's disease patients, but also in other movement disorders like dystonia when uh, mm -hmm. continuous high frequency stimulation is applied. Okay, so then briefly, would you say then, based on your research as well, is there hope then in the future for Parkinson's? Patients. Yes, there's hope, but also deep brain stimulation can't stop the progression of the disease. There's no evidence for this. It helps to contain a very good motor state continuously over the day, but it doesn't stop the progression of the disease so far. Mm. Well, that's not such good news, no. but we thank you very much for your insights today here on Tomorrow Today. Thank you.